Every once in a while, I like to cook something which I've eaten out at a nice restaurant or something that I've seen that's inspired me. This classic dish I saw on MasterChef The Professionals here in the UK, cooked by legendary chef Marcus Waring. I thought it was really impressive how Marcus elevated a humble home-cooked dish into something a bit more special. This is what I'm cooking today, so let me tell you a little bit more about this bang and smash dish. As I don't want to rush anything, I'm going to start off with my pom puree. I bought this very fine sieve, which I'll use to make this. My potato has been baked for an hour or so, and it's cooked all the way through. I'll push this through, and then I'll add to the saucepan for later on. Time to chop all of these onions. So they can really caramelize and break down, I'm going to slice finely. Whilst we're here, I'm gonna show you these amazing sausages. These are sage and black pepper, a decent robust sausage that's going to hold up to the rich gravy, I think. Let's shimmy over to my stove. And as you see, I've got a few pans on the go. I've got this lovely milk stout. I'm going to gently warm this through and I'll start these onions off by getting some oil and butter into the pan and adding them in. These are swept down and when the moisture starts to release, I'm going to add a sprig of rosemary. And later on, a clove of garlic, which I chopped earlier. Once I've got a bit of caramelization, I'm going to add some brandy and flambe. I'm changing up my camera angles a bit so you guys can see better. And the sausages are added in so they can cook all the way around and get evenly coloured. I picked that tip up from Marcus. Stock can now be gently added to the onions and a bit of whole grain mustard. And also some balsamic vinegar for a bit of sharpness. I've added in a couple of cloves of whole garlic, just slightly crushed to the sausages by the way, and a whole sprig of rosemary. I rotate the sausages from time to time so they can get evenly coloured. I've started to add in the stout and a touch of honey to counteract any bitterness, but this certainly contributes to a rich, dark, gutsy sauce. Flip back to my original camera angle and you can see things are coming on very nicely. I'll turn my heat down on the sausages so they can keep warm, and I'm going to add in some butter and warm milk to my mashed potato. The more of this you add, the richer the pom puree will be. Time to plate up. I've never seen bangers and mash plated like this before, but I love the idea of sourcing your plate first and then sitting the components on top. The roasted garlic I add on as well, and the rosemary sprig as a garnish. Cue that B-roll. For sure, bangers and mash is definitely a homely, comfort, rustic type of dish. Uh, but it's been really fun today to actually do Marcus's interpretation and get this a little bit smarter, a little bit more refined. And there's no doubt I'm a home cook. I'm most definitely a home cook and I really love doing um, different dishes at home. But um, to actually take something and to make it a little bit more refined, a little bit more special, is a really good thing, I think. Thank you ever so much for watching and making it this far. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I do really appreciate everyone's support. I put in a lot of work into my content and I'm so thankful people appreciate it and people watch it. And until next time, fellow foodies, happy cooking. Bye.